Hello everyone, welcome to another Elder Scrolls Online video. Today I'm going to be bringing you some basic info on the Sorcerer class, um, how I played it in the beta, or I guess the beta weekend, and uh, some basic analysis of the skill tree and stuff. Of course, I kind of would like to reiterate the fact that these aren't like super gnarly min-maxing videos. There's plenty of those out there, and uh, not for good anyway. And uh, for some reason, wouldn't let me reply to your comment. Whoever commented that, and it was it was totally valid that I wasn't. I'm not. I'm not telling you how to min-max and stuff like that, because I'm just telling you how I played it in the beta and uh, just some basic knowledge on it, just so you can have a more uh, intelligent decision on what class you want to play, so you can uh, have more fun and don't waste your time playing a class you don't want to, like I did. I started off with Templar, but now I realize that I want to be a Dragon Knight. Anyway, I also really like Sorcerer. When I play um, in the actual game, I might use a bunch of. I might end up using a staff. And maybe like a two-handed sword or something, just because the, the, spell, the spells and stuff for destruction are super fun. But the only problem I felt was you're a little weak because you're, you're dumping all your points into stamina, and you're running light armor to maximize your stamina regeneration and critical spell chance and things like that. If you're going to be going into that skill tree, like min-maxing and stuff like that, which well, isn't necessarily min-maxing, but it is trying to maximize your stamina or not stamina, magicka. So I had some trouble staying alive. So. I really felt like the uh, Daedric Summoning or whatever it's called skill tree is kind of crucial if you're going to be the Sorcerer Mage, because you can be a Dragon Knight Mage or Templar Mage or Nightblade Mage or whatever. But um, if you're using, if you're maxing out your Magicka, you're going to need something to take hits for you, whether it be a person or yourself and someone's healing you, or you're healing yourself, or you're using uh, one of the familiars or Storm After Knack or something like that. Because I feel like I was dying really fast, and I really feel like this clip is a good example of that how I can't take on multiple enemies, because first off, I hadn't unlocked the wall of fire or wall of frost at this point, which I did get at the very end of the video, if you stay long till that, or I don't even know if it's actually in the video, but I'm pretty sure it is. I did get I did get some footage of it. So anyway, uh, after a bunch of near-death experiences, I finally die, and I'm going to send you over to the skill tree analysis. Okay, here we have the skill tree for Sorcerer. Now, Sorcerer is, of course, the mage magic guy, and he has a bunch of cool spills. Basically, that's his whole deal. You don't really need to put any points into stamina unless you want to be like a battle mage, which would kind of be a weird idea because most of your spells and all your stuff comes from magic. But that's the whole point of Elder Scrolls, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so dark magic is like uh, destruction from Skyrim. You have all these cool spells like crystal fragments and encakes and rune prison and all these crazy things. Daedric summoning sounds exactly how it is. It sounds like summoning. Uh, Storm Matronex and Familiar. They're a bunch of cool stuff. There's Daedric Curse, all these things, and um, if I think that Daedric Summoning is kind of crucial because you're kind of weak as a mage because if you're wearing light armor, because that's what most people do, because you get the boosts to like magic or regeneration when you're wearing light armor, um, you kind of need someone to tank for you because you're DPS. So that's basically how the game works. You need a tank, you need a damage per second guy, a high horse, and you need a, um, a healer. So you're gonna need a tank for yourself if you're playing alone. So you're gonna need like a familiar, a storm astronac. Or a wing twilight, and uh, storm calling is like buffs and some really cool spells. See, light and heavy attacks are replaced with empowered versions that drain ultimate. So you like toggle it, and then you, your attacks do more damage. And these are all like teleport cool things. And which the f that seems looks cool. The bolt escape that sounds really cool. Um, another some stuff with here is you're gonna go with destruction staff probably. Wall of elements is pretty cool. Destructive clench is pretty cool. I upgraded that one. And, uh, yeah, there's Mage. Alright, now that you've seen the skill tree, if you haven't played the beta already, now you have some experience, you can see what skills are in there for Mage. You can kind of base what class you're going to play as on that. And, uh, now I can show you some more footage of this CU Viper camp, and you may be saying, hey, why are you killing level 6s? I believe I'm, like, level 3, 4 here, and I'm still ramming them pretty hard. Which shows, uh, Mage is pretty powerful, but they are weak, health-wise. Which is my only problem with them. So you might want to play a different class, but then play kind of mage styled. Because I, what I found is I wasn't really actually using too many of the mage skills. I was using a lot, or not mage, sorcerer. Excuse me. I was using a lot of. I wasn't really using a lot of the sorcerer skills. I was using a lot of the uh, destruction staff, and the destruction staff skills seem really, really good uh, for AOE damage and for um, single target. Single target, mostly for single target. Um, you're gonna want to use different ones than like wall of fire and thing, or wall of ice or whatever. The destruction wall that's the second skill down. I kind of talked about it in the analysis. You're going to be wanting to using more like destructive clench and some more of those single target moves and maybe putting your points into the single target passives instead of uh, AoE passives. But a, uh, a mage can definitely be a really good AoE class just because they have so much potential to be AoE uh, DPS 
uh, and if you don't know what AoE means, it's area of effect. So it's like a big area of damage instead of single target damage. So like if you're going to be doing like area of effect, you might want to focus more on destruction and stuff skills. But if you're doing DPS, you might want to be like dark magic, because I've only put one point in dark magic. But I, what I've noticed is from the first skill, is it, uh, it's a knockdown and it does a lot of damage. So what I've noticed at least is it does some damage. It's pretty good. Crowd control capabilities, and like crowd control if you don't know. Basically anything crowd control is something that knocks the enemy down or slows them or stops them from attacking people. It's, it's like it's basically as it sounds, controlling the crowd and people abbreviate that as CC if you aren't new to the community. Well actually I'm pretty new but I've, I've knowledgeified. I'm more Elder Scrolls fan than I am MMO fan but I like to change. I really like what they've done, what they've done, what they've done from what they've done with the game. Um, I like the bosses. It's a fun game. If you're wondering if you should buy it or not, I'm probably gonna make a video on that tomorrow or the day after that once I get some more actual game gameplay. And uh, if you see in the background here, that is a Daedric portal. I, I tried to attack it and I just could not handle the fire that was inside that thing's portal butthole, and I got pooped on. So I'm just killing the imps outside for stuff. And imps actually attack pretty coolly too. They shoot like fire out of them. It looks cooler in third person, but. I don't know, I don't really prefer third person, but now, I think after I've played a little while, I think I'm going to like third person more. But, uh, as you can see, this Dark Magic Crystal Fragments, it's a really good one. It knocks them over, it does a bunch of damage. It's really useful. Here you can see me getting killed by wolves again. And also that, uh, one where you see me hitting them with the butt of my staff, I think it's called Destructive, uh, Clench. That's the morphed version, I think it's like Destructive Touch or something like that. But, uh, it's pretty good. Also, I'm in the Aldmeri Dominion, if you're wondering, uh, if you didn't know, because there's a pretty, pretty, uh, well-known quest. Anyway, this is my analysis of the Sorcerer class, and uh, as you can see here, actually, I'm only level like 6, 7 here, and I'm killing level 16s, and this guy, I mean, some guy helped me out a lot and like one-shot him, but I don't know, I might have been able to kill him with some crowd control abilities and things like that. But anyway, subscribe for more Elder Scrolls Online, follow me on Twitch, because I'm going to be streaming this game a lot, and uh, I'll see you next time.